On this 102nd plenary session of the Committee of the Regions held in Brussels on the 3rd and the 4th of July, the Committee's President Falkarsel had the honour to welcome Croatia as the 28th member state of the European Union. Today we celebrate not just the fact of Croatia's succession in political or economic terms, but also something very important that history has shown to the Europeans that we still need to believe in a shared peaceful future in order to overcome the divisions of the past. The nine members of the Croatian delegation were giving a warm welcome at their first COR plenary session. The Croatian delegation was not the only one in the spotlights. COR president Falkersel awarded three European regions with the European Entrepreneurial Region 2014 label. Strong entrepreneurship and comprehensive future-oriented strategies made Marke, Flanders and North Brabant the rightful winners. The second day of this plenary session started with a word from the Lithuanian Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs. Lithuania is taking over the rotating EU presidency for the next six months. Responding to his intervention, the COR adopted a resolution on its contribution to the European Commission Work Programme 2014. European Commissioner Cholos was also invited to debate the new CAP agreement. COR President Falkarsel stressed the importance of territorial cohesion and the participating power of the farmers, something that the Commissioner could clearly relate to. I think it is the first time in the reform of the CAP that we are specifically integrating the regional dimension. As far as direct payments are concerned, we left to the member states and the regions a level of flexibility which is sufficient for them to be able to take account of local and regional specificities. During this plenary session, the committee also adopted a resolution on the deepening of the economic and monetary union, as well as several opinions, among others those by Lamberts on frontier workers, Schneider on assessing territorial impacts, Sauens on e-health, Lebrun on EU waste targets and the Weimestak on the internal energy market. The next plenary session will be taking place at the Open Days in October.